when the Biden administration meets with these companies next week, uh, what should the president say? Uh, hi, Jim. I think he needs to say that you oil companies are making record profits. There is absolutely no reason for you to be charging as much as you are charging at the pump. And if you don't stop, we're going to go after you in terms of antitrust. We're going to go after you with a windfall profits tax. We're going to go after you in terms of the court of public opinion. I'm going to be talking about how much you are you are basically raking off from consumers. Uh, this is indefensible. And, you know, we talked about this a little bit, and it, and it sounds like there's some new reporting on this front, uh, whether or not the president can get Congress on board with perhaps taxing these big oil companies and sending out some kind of rebate check or rebate card uh, to Americans uh, who are hurting. Um, what do you make of, I guess, some of the discussion that's been taking place on that front? It does sound like th those ideas are starting to percolate here in the nation's capital. I think they are, Jim, uh, not only among Democrats, but also I hear among Republicans. Uh, you know, the conservative party in Britain, uh, Britain's conservatives did impose a couple of weeks ago a windfall profits tax on oil companies. Uh, there is no reason we should not be doing the same thing. Again, using the revenue to help consumers bear the higher costs and also discouraging oil companies who are already making more money than they've made uh, ever, many of them record profits, from raising their prices further. The other thing I want to just emphasize is that these oil companies are not using the profits to invest in green energy or even more oil uh, drilling. No, they're using their profits to buy back their shares of stock, uh, to increase the value of their shares of shares of stock. This is purely financial. It is purely greed. Uh, it is capitalism, yes, but capitalism also requires that the government take some action sometimes when the public interest re requires it. Right. And, and we should point out last time we talked about this, I was thinking, you know, we should show this to our viewers. When Trump was president, he made a big deal that he was sending out these stimulus checks uh, to folks at home with his name printed on them. There you see one of them right there. Um, and even though I guess Biden's economic team depended, uh, debated sending some of these rebate cards to millions of Americans to buy gas, CNN has learned that that option is unlikely because the administration sees some complicated logistics and, and trying to get, uh, I guess, rebate cards out there. But why not checks? What do you, what do you make of, uh, I guess, some of this consternation inside the administration that, well, we can't make the logistics work, that sort of thing? Well, I, I, I understand it. You know, I've been there, done that. Uh, yeah. But uh, I think the administration needs to uh, re respond to the real needs that Americans have uh, and show Americans that it is taking action. Uh, there are a lot of ways of dealing with this. In other words, the revenue from a windfall profits tax could be used by the Treasury and even rebated to the states so that the states and the Treasury could temporarily uh, take off the gas tax, the federal and the state gas tax. I mean, there are a lot of ways you can use this revenue. Uh, the point is uh, that the oil companies right now are simply uh, they, they are price price gouging and you know one thing we should mention is that some republican lawmakers claimed uh that last year's uh, covid 19 aid plan uh was to blame for the inflation uh that we're we're all dealing with right now um what do you make of that well, I don't think there's anything to that whatsoever. I mean, the inflation we're dealing with right now is basically a huge pent up demand from coming from hopefully the end of the pandemic, uh, coupled with supply shocks, as all of these suppliers worldwide are trying to catch up with that demand. And then on top of that, Putin's war in Ukraine, which is obviously pushing up energy prices and food prices. Uh, but beyond all of that, we also have the reality that American corporations have been sitting on profits that are at a 70 year high, Jim, 70 year high. Uh, these big corporations, mm -hmm. they are not facing very much competition. They're using inflation as a cover for raising their prices further. And that is a, a factor that, uh, well, is, is, is simply indefensible. And, you know, we should know while the oil companies are doing well, people are very worried about the financial markets right now, uh, which have been just, you know, almost in a nosedive uh, for, for several days now. Um, what are the warning signs that you're seeing? Could this be taking the country uh, towards a recession? Uh, there are so many Americans out there who, who have invested in uh, the financial markets, have their 401ks invested and are looking at these 401ks day after day and starting to freak out a little bit. 
Well, I, I understand. I think that the financial markets are responding really to the Fed raising interest rates in an attempt to fight inflation. But as the Fed raises interest rates very quickly at a rate that we haven't seen since the early 1980s, because this inflation is analogous to the early 1980s, what happened in the early 1980s, financial markets remember, is uh, the Fed plunged us into a huge recession. It is very difficult to arrange what's called a soft landing. And the Fed, as it raises interest rates, could very easily plunge the economy into a recession. And the markets are reacting accordingly, it looks like. Uh, all right. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, Secretary Reich, great to have you on. Let's have you on as, as much as we can. It's, it's great to have you break it all down for us. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jim.